Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I have a new template and cut file available in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com. And it is a pocket folder for disc bound systems. So, right now I have letter size, half letter, mini disc, and classic. This is what it looks like. This was one I, this is the half letter version. If you have double sided paper you could use that or you could glue another sheet to the back of this so that your uh, folder would be double sided it's really up to you but this is what it looks like and how it works so just to show you how to put it together I'm going to use this this version this is the letter size or the big version um, Generally, when I make a template, the tabs are one half inch, and that is what these are. So we're going to do some scoring. I finally cleaned my scoreboard off as best as I could. <laughs> Still a little grungy, but that's because I use it. So all you really need to do is cut out the template. You can do that manually, but you will need a way to punch the holes. Um, but you can print this out and use what you print as a template or a guide. The files come as ping, JPEG, PDF, SVG, and Studio. So you have pretty much any file type that you would need to work with. I use my silhouette to cut this out. And so now I'm going to do my scoring. So I'm going to score here at a half an inch. I'm going to turn this around, score at a half an inch, and then I'm going to, oh, let's do it this way, I'm going to score here at eight and a half, which is going to give me a half an inch flat. Okay, so that's it for the scoreboard. So now I'm just going to fold and burnish my flaps. Then all you need to do is add your adhesive. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to go in and add a little bit on each flap. Oops. Okay. Then I'm going to take the base piece. This is the pocket. And I'm just going to line it up at the bottom and the right hand side. And this is why I like the fabric tack because it gives you a little time to make sure everything is lined up. And it also kind of cleans up good for things like this. If I have a glue remover, we call these rubber cement removers in school. And Fabri-Tac works similar to a rubber cement. So just lining it up. Make sure everything is straight. And now I have a pocket. And I'm just going to burnish it down. Make sure I haven't glued anything closed on the inside. And that's it. Now, again, if I wanted this to have a design on the back, I could have cut two of these base pieces and put them back to back. You know, printed one reverse. But I don't really need that in this instance. And a lot of times, if you're decorating your planner, 
so something like this if it's something like this then you could always use some project life cards or other dashboards to decorate the other side of it um, I just didn't do it because I didn't want to add any extra bulk so this is the note this is one of the notebooks made by the happy planner and I just have recipes in here so I just wanted something I have some things just floating around in the back and I wanted something to be able to tuck bits and pieces in so now I have a folder and it just pops right in here like this let's see I don't want to put anything too bulky in it okay so this is just a folded recipe Everything fits right in here okay so that is the folder template for Disbound Systems and again it is available in the shop now if you like videos like this please hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video thank you to all my current subscribers thank you for watching and supporting my channel if you have any comments or questions please leave them below I'll also link to these templates in the description box below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye